So jumping straight in with Bitcoin on the daily charts. And before we do that, actually, I just want to say a big thank you to all the support recently on the videos. You guys have been commenting, so you've been really enjoying the new Bitcoin content. So as always, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that with the notification bell on so you never miss a daily update from Bitcoin or also Tom's altcoin videos. Um, and then also leave a like on the video, of course, if you do enjoy it. So with Bitcoin, we can see on the daily chart right now, we have hit one of the key levels we marked out in yesterday's episode. Now this has seen us uh, rise a little bit in price from our bearish drop, which shows us that this key level could potentially hold. And I did mention that there were some potential trades you could take on a lower time frame from this level. However, I also did say, until I see some major confirmation, I will not be taking any trades. Um, and something new we're going to start doing as well is I'll be showing you more in depth the trades that we're taking on the channel. So if I'm taking a trade, I'll show you kind of the, the profit loss and everything like that on Bybit itself, just so it's a bit more transparency for you guys, as I know a few of you have commented saying you'd like to see that. So when I do get into a trade, I will definitely let you know. But right now I'm still sitting on my hands waiting for a bit more bullish pressure because as you can see, no real structure has been broken. What I would need to see being broken before I could take a long trade here is the $39,500 level to be taken out. And then I would look for a retest trade, probably around $38,500 with a target then of 43 to 44,000. So that is the first kind of step here is we're waiting for that to happen. If that does not happen and we continue downwards, then the next level is the level that I think will hold. And that was between 32 or 33,000 and uh, 35,000. So those are the two major levels I'm watching right now. And then of course we have that kind of worst case scenario level down at 29 to 31K. But for the most part, we are not paying attention to that just yet until price does make its way down there or if it makes its way down there. So let's bring up the indicators as well. We've got the 5,220 EMAs and they of course are looking bearish on the four hour right now uh, because we did have that big dump. Uh, however, if we go on the daily charts, you can see there might be a chance that we come up and cross that 20 over that 50 soon. However, still no sign of that just yet. So there's kind of conflicting messages because from a price action, a purely price action point of view, we are bullish and a structure point of view. However, from the indicator point of view, we're still bearish. So it's whether you want to go off price action or whether you want to go off indicators. I personally trade off price action. I don't really use indicators that much. Um, however, you know, it is completely up to you, whatever you feel more comfortable with. If you want to learn how to use indicators, how to use price action, as always, we do have the course down below. You can check that out and uh, we're going to be doing a deal on that soon as well. So make sure you stay tuned in every video so I can give you the discount code if you want to get some money off it. So let's take away the EMAs because like I said, they're looking pretty bearish for now, but we'll put on the pivot point super trend indicator on the daily chart. Now we are still just about in a buy zone. And this is a very, very important level for Bitcoin right now because this buy zone ends at 36.7K. Therefore, if price makes its way and closes below it, this will flip to a sell again, therefore making it one of the few uh, false signals for a buy. Uh, however, if we do still trust it, which I personally do, then this level is actually likely to hold. So all in all, what we're saying here is if you're looking to short the market, you're going to have to wait for price to come up a bit more to give you a bit more room to short, as I do think we've extended our short position quite a lot now. Um, however, if you're looking to long the market, I would wait for a bullish confirmation or a break of structure on a lower time frame. Therefore, you can then get into a position and uh, start to look between that 43, 44k level, if not higher. Um, let me know also guys in the comments, are you shorting, are you longing right now? Very interesting to see kind of the uh, disparity between uh, multiple people, people saying they're longing, people saying they're shorting and why. Um, I know a lot of people aren't very convinced that we're bullish right now as they uh, they purely kind of focus on the last few days and they just see the bearish price action. However, if we look at the bigger picture, we zoom out, uh, we can see we are still looking bullish from a, a structural point of view. Now, there are of course fundamental reasons behind all of this as well, so we do have to take that into account. However, purely from a technical perspective, uh, I am going to be looking at taking a trade to the upside very, very soon if we can get that if we can get that structure shift. Now, we could even go to the one hour for this and just an idea of what we could look for as a potential trade. If this does happen, I will be most likely taking it. If we do see a break above that 39.5k region, then price will most likely come back and form some type of bounce off of this level here if we turn this into an area of demand, if price does move away like this. So if this does happen, then I'll be looking between the 38.6K level and the 37.6K level. Um, that gives you a nice kind of $1,000 area to either dollar cost average or make some trades from. So 
that's pretty much it for Bitcoin right now. It's not really doing too much else. We just have to wait to see which direction it's going to move in and then react to it. You know, that's what we always say. Rather than just trying to predict aimlessly where it's going up or down, the best thing to do is actually just wait for it to make that initial move and then catch the retest. If that all makes sense and you've learned something, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more. And we'll catch you in tomorrow's episode. Bye. Thank you.